During a public health emergency involving the release of a biological agent, your city and county public health departments will open locations throughout the jurisdiction to dispense medication to the public. These locations are called points of dispensing, or pods. Pods will be set up in public schools, hospitals, faith-based organizations, or community buildings. Other pods may offer drive-through service in the parking lot of a school or public building. Pods receive medications from a federal supply system known as the Strategic National Stockpile, maintained by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC. As a screener, your role is important to pod operations. You will conduct an initial review of each client's medication screening form, that an adult head of household has already filled out. The form lists the name, age, and gender of each family member. Based on each client's responses to six questions on their medication screening form, you will determine the appropriate medication that each family member needs. Each family member's correct medication will be dispensed at the pod at no cost or the client will be advised to consult their personal physician to decide which medication is best for them. At the pod, clients will receive one of several possible medications, doxycycline or doxy, ciprofloxacin or cipro, or other antibiotics that may be available. Here are the steps required to review the medication screening form. First, review the names of all family members who will be receiving medication. All family members do not need to be present, but their first and last name, age, and gender should be listed. M for male or F for female. Second, the family's home address and phone number must be filled out. Third, review the answers to the six screening questions for each family member. Is the family member under age 12? Is the family member pregnant or breastfeeding? Is the family member allergic to doxycycline or allergic to ciprofloxacin? or allergic to the other available antibiotics. A checked box means yes. An unchecked box means no or don't know. Follow along with the color-coded guide, but remember, each family's answers will be different. If there are no checks to questions 1 to 4, circle DOXY. If there are no checks to questions 1 to 4, but either question 5 or 6 is check yes, circle DOXY. If there are any checks to questions 1 to 4, but no check to question 5, then circle CIPRO. If there are any checks to questions 1 to 4, and question 5 is also checked, then circle or write in the name of any other antibiotic which may be available at your pod. If there are any checks to questions 1 to 4, and both questions 5 and 6 are checked, then print the word CONSULT in the sticker label section, which means the client should consult a physician about that family member's medication. Refer to the color-coded guide to make sure you have circled the correct medication for each family member. You can also use the flowchart on the screening guide to circle the correct medication. Start by asking yourself, are there any checks for questions 1 to 4? If no, circle DOXY to be dispensed. If yes, there are any checks for questions 1 to 4, then look to see if question 5 is checked. If no, circle CIPRO to be dispensed. 
If yes, question 5 is checked, look to see if question 6 is also checked. If no, circle other to be dispensed. If yes, question 6 is also checked, then print the word consult in the sticker label section. The client should consult a physician. The entire process of reviewing the medication screening form should take less than 30 seconds. After you've determined the correct medication for each family member, return the medication screening form back to an adult family member. If there is a separate dispensing station, direct them there to receive the proper medication. Dispensers will fill out the date, time, and pod name or number in the top section marked for office use only. Dispensers should either place a sticker label showing which medication they dispensed or write down the medication name. Dispensers will also total the numbers of each medication dispensed for the entire family. Screeners at drive through pods will direct motorists to drive ahead to the drive through dispensing station where the correct medications will be dispensed. If a client asks any questions about the medications, such as dosage amounts or side effects, please refer them to the fact sheet or an assistance station if available. Depending on your pod location, some of these procedures may vary, which will be explained to you during your just-in-time training. For more information about this training or the medication screening form, please see your supervisor. Thank you.